Did you ever wonder what the heck is Bitcoin and how can it possibly keep my money secure, safe, and what happens when a transaction is executed? It is not as complex as you may think. If you can understand public and private keys and the blockchain ledger, you're able to fully comprehend Bitcoin. First, let's rewind to 2009 when Bitcoin burst onto the scene, created by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. It was a groundbreaking innovation introducing the concept of cryptocurrency a digital or virtual form of money secured by cryptography. Imagine it as a secret code that keeps your transactions safe from prying eyes. Now, let's talk about the backbone of Bitcoins. The blockchain, picture the blockchain as a digital ledger, recording every single Bitcoin transaction that has ever occurred. Each transaction is like a block, linked together in a chain, creating an immutable record of all transactions. It's transparent, decentralized, and tamper-proof, making it incredibly secure. A simple list of every Bitcoin exchange ever done, credits and debits. But how do transactions actually work? Well, when you want to send Bitcoins to someone else, you create a transaction using your private key. This transaction is then broadcast to the Bitcoin network, where miners' computers that secure the network work to confirm and validate it. Once confirmed, the transaction is added to the blockchain, and the recipient receives the Bitcoins. It's like sending a message through a secure messenger service, except in this case, it's sending money. Your public and private keys never change. You must keep them in a secure place. Without them, you lost your money. Your private key is like your secret key that unlocks your hidden box of Bitcoins. It doesn't change, and it proves that you're the owner of those Bitcoins. Your public key is derived from your private key and is shared with others so they can send you Bitcoins or verify your transactions. They'll zoom in on the keys to your Bitcoin kingdom. The public and private keys. Your private key is like the master key to your Bitcoin treasure chest. It's crucial to keep it safe and secret because it proves that you're the rightful owner of your Bitcoins. On the other hand, your public key is derived from your private key and serves as your Bitcoin address, a unique identifier that others use to send Bitcoins to you. It's like giving out your mailing address so your friends can send you letters and packages Speaking of addresses, when you want to use Bitcoin, you may want a digital wallet, a secure place to store your public and private keys. There are various types of wallets, from software wallets like Electrum to hardware wallets like Ledger Nano S. Each offers different levels of security and convenience, so it's essential to choose one that suits your needs. However, be wary of the risks associated with using wallets and exchanges. If you lose control of your wallet or trust it to a service, you might lose control of your Bitcoins. For example, the infamous MT. Gox exchange collapse in 2014 resulted in the loss of over 850,000 Bitcoins belonging to customers. A stark reminder of the importance of security in the world of Bitcoin. Now let's fast forward to today. Bitcoin has come a long way since its inception and is now widely used for various purposes, from buying goods and services to investing and trading. There are numerous exchanges where you can buy, sell, and trade Bitcoins such as Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. These platforms offer user-friendly interfaces and a range of features to cater to both novice and experienced traders. But what about the latest advancements in Bitcoin technology? Enter Bitcoin credit cards, a game changer in the world of cryptocurrency. These cards allow you to spend your Bitcoins, just like you would with a regular credit card. The difference. All the money exchange is done on the card, allowing you to use your Bitcoins to buy things in dollars or other fiat currencies. It's like having a magical card that turns your Bitcoins into real-world money. Before we conclude, let's touch on KaiC, or know your customer. Some governments require exchanges and wallet providers to verify the identities of their users to prevent money laundering and other illegal activities. However, in some countries, Bitcoin can still be used without KaiC requirements providing more privacy for users. Let's dive deeper into the world of wallets, including popular choices like Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, Electrum, Blue Wallet, Exodus, Crypto.com, and Nguyen Wallet, as well as the concept of cold storage. Coinbase Wallace, known for its user-friendly interface, Coinbase Wallet is often recommended for beginners. It's easy to set up and offers features like buying, selling, and storing various cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. Trust Wallet. If you're always on the go, Trust Wallet is a top choice for mobile users. It supports a wide range of cryptocurrencies and provides a secure and intuitive mobile experience. 
For those who prefer desktop wallets, Electrum is a popular choice. It's lightweight, fast, and offers advanced features like support for hardware wallets and multi-signature transactions. 4. Blue Wallex Another excellent option for mobile users, Blue Wallet stands out for its simplicity and security features. It's a non-custodial wallet, meaning you have full control over your private keys. If you're looking for a feature-rich desktop wallet with a sleek design, Lexidus is worth considering. It supports a wide range of cryptocurrencies and offers built-in exchange features for seamless trading. CTO Dodafin Pack is a DeFi decentralized finance wallet. Crypto.com provides access to a range of decentralized financial services, including lending, borrowing, and staking. It's an all-in-one solution for users interested in exploring the world of DeFi. Sim Wallet Yuan Wallet is known for its focus on security and privacy. It utilizes advanced encryption techniques and offers features like multi-signature transactions for added security. Now, let's talk about cold storage. Cold storage refers to keeping your Bitcoins offline away from internet-connected devices where they're less vulnerable to hacking or theft. Cold storage wallets, such as hardware wallets like Ledger Nano S or Treaser, are popular choices for long-term storage of Bitcoins. The main difference between cold storage wallets and the wallets mentioned above is how they interact with the internet. Cold storage wallets generate and store your private keys offline ensuring that they're never exposed to potential online threats. So when you want to make a transaction, you can use the cold storage wallet to sign it offline. But then, you use a device connected to the internet to broadcast the signed transaction to the Bitcoin network. Now, let's tie it all together with public and private keys and the blockchain. In cold storage wallets, your private key remains securely stored offline, while your public key is used to generate your Bitcoin address. When you receive bitcoins, the transaction is recorded on the blockchain, which is a decentralized and transparent ledger. To spend bitcoins from your cold storage wallet, you use your private key to sign the transaction, proving that you're the rightful owner of the bitcoin. This signed transaction is then broadcast to the bitcoin network and added to the blockchain, completing the transaction securely and immutably. In summary, while wallets like Coinbase Trust Wallet and others offer convenience and accessibility, Cold storage wallets provide an extra layer of security by keeping your private keys offline. Understanding the differences between these wallets and the concept of cold storage is essential for safely storing and managing your Bitcoins. So now you know, if you own Bitcoin, you own a long code called a private key. You also own a long code called a public. With these two keys, you can access your Bitcoin. You can use these keys to put Bitcoin in your ledger or send Bitcoin to someone else from your ledger. If you give these codes to anyone, like an online a wallet, government friend, BlackRock, or your banker, they can take all your Bitcoin from you or they could lose your keys. If you write down these codes and save them, keeping them secret, your Bitcoin is safe for years to come. Got it. Great. Now please subscribe, like, and comment below.